What a beautiful walk. Give me that box, Lily. You shouldn't be carrying that. I'm fine. I don't even think about it. Well, I do. Well, you don't need to ask any more, George. Look, we're here. Right. Good. Right. Nobody told me how beautiful it would be. Let's get inside. I just want to take a moment before we go in. This is the start of something. This town has been speaking to me ever since we arrived. The hands are aching, Lily. Come on. It has stories to tell and I want to hear them. I want to be part of them and I want to meet the people of Southport. Well, we need the sand grounders to know who we are first, so come on, let's get inside. What a fine establishment. There is nothing modest about it at all. And we've even got a bandstand outside. And it is the finest arcade I ever did see. Seem finer than Liverpool. <laughs> and look at our sign, George. Bednall's Fancy Stationer. We've even got a bell, so we can hear each customer as they arrive and depart. That'll be inheritance, I'm sure. It must have been quite a handsome cafe before we arrived. These are used for champagne. Where did they come from? They look like... Very fine glass. I think they were meant to be left for us, so we can celebrate the opening of our shop in style. Ah, Mrs Dodd, how pleasant to see you. Mrs Atkinson, are you well? You're looking rather pale. Are you taking ill again? No, I am quite well. Now that we live permanently by the sea, I am much improved. Salut, Popoli. <laughs> the health of the people. It is on Southport's coat of arms and is the entire reason you feel well. You are quite right. Have you had a good evening? I have, indeed. The opening of the Atkinson Art Gallery and Library may be just the thing to tempt royalty to Southport. Oh, how very kind of you to say. I do wish I could paint. <laughs> I find it better to look from afar and don't try unless you have a talent. <laughs> The pictures on display today have been most agreeable, but well, that is not always the case. What a gift it must be. <laughs> you must visit the baths, my dear. The doctors say it can be a cure for all kinds of aches and pains. We have Turkish baths, Russian baths, salt and fresh water bathing. You rarely must attend. Oh, your recommendations are always excellent, Mrs Dodd. I shall inform William. He has worked so hard on this evening's opening. We hope it will be an attraction for both residents and visitors. More and more people are coming to Southport, have you noticed? I have. I suspect they're trying to find a match for their daughters. The newspapers are listing who is staying in town and where. Were I fortunate enough to have a daughter of my own, I would be researching where the respectable gentlemen are staying. Sadly, due to the premature death of my husband, I have no children. Oh, I am sorry. Speaking of death, did you hear about the young girl who lost her head? Oh my goodness, I hope you don't mean what you say. She was crossing the railway at Duke Street. 21 and due to be married, poor thing. She was in service, as many are. I couldn't live without my staff, a necessity in day-to-day -day life. Oh, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> well, she'd crossed the tracks to visit the grocers and on her return, having completed her task, she waited at the tracks for the train to pass. Sensible. But what she didn't realise that a second train was passing immediately after. As she tried to cross, she was knocked down and the wheel of the engine severed her head from her body. It took a whole day to identify her and that was only possible because her mistress recognised the clothes on the headless body. Oh, thank goodness, I don't feel very well. I think I need to sit down. How unsurprising, Mrs Atkinson. Well, I shall have another stroll around the gallery. It was rather crowded on my first attempt. Indeed. I must congratulate your husband. He has funded something most excellent for the town. Thank you, Mrs Dodd. An art gallery. A headless body. And a library. A whole day to identify. We really must make ourselves acquainted. Lily! What would they do with the body, I ask you? Yes, a horrid affair. Poor girl. What a story to be telling in public.